What is up, guys? It's his video game jam poop here, and uh, today is sort of different. So, rather than doing a let's play of a game or a uh, what you could call it a random video like I did yesterday, um, today I'm just gonna play some NES games, uh, the old black labeled NES games, so games like Donkey Kong and all that. While talking about what my future might be, I guess, like, not what I'm going to do in the future, if I'm going to move house or anything, I don't mean like that, I mean, like, what games I'm going to let's play in the future, and what I'm planning on to play, so, let's get this started, I'm going to start with Donkey Kong first. Okay, so, these are being played on an emulator, so you can see my mouse here. Yeah, um, I am just going to, uh, I'm just going to do some random playthroughs of some games, uh, of a few NES games. Uh, keep in mind, some games that I'm going to play are going to be, uh, mostly GameCube or your, your original European versions. Not because of, not because of the Hertz, they are going to be played in 60 Hertz, but I just want to see if there's any differences and such between those or if they're just like a different ROM header and such, and such like that, so, yeah, so as I play for each, I don't really need to tell you the instructions, because obviously you know how to play these games anyway, you would expect them anyway, so, I'm going to get started on Donkey Kong right here, so, So, the games I might be playing in the future, well, I have I have ordered a capture card yesterday from eBay, it's not coming yet, obviously, because it was Sunday yesterday, it was Sunday yesterday by the time of this recording, and Postman, obviously, they'll come on for the Sundays, at least in the UK, at least. I don't know if they do in the US, but, yeah, I have ordered myself a capture card, whoa, glitchy graphics. Don't know how I got them. Uh, here's an exclusive level from the original edition. Yeah, this is the original edition of Donkey Kong. I've played the NES original edition. That was available in Europe on the Wii Virtual Console. Uh, exclusive to Europe, but it ran in 50 hertz and slow music. It almost sounded like a baby toy. Uh, oh god. <laughs> but I have ordered myself a capture card. Uh, so, um, what I'm going to do with it is obviously I'm going to play games with it, so I don't have to have that awful camera anymore that if any of you saw my old Let's Plays, so Mario 64, uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which is my first one, Pikmin, and Pikmin 2, and, uh, I did. Oh yeah, Smash Bros. Melee. They were done on either my old camera that I sold, or my old tablet that broke when I was in a uh, place called K30, you might have heard of that case before. Uh, but still, um, yeah, I've got myself a capture card, uh, which is a relief, well, it's not, I've, I've not got it yet, because obviously these are being captured in OBS in an emulator, like I said earlier. But, uh, I can finally use it, the, hopefully the capture card will work, and then I can use it on my consoles, well, HDMI consoles, I don't know what it'll be like for all consoles, like the GameCube, uh, the PlayStation, the PlayStation 2, the Xbox, and all that, but, I am, uh, obviously I have a HDMI adapter, especially for the Wii, because the Wii doesn't have HDMI officially. Although, I don't know if the adapters are official or if they're just third party. Mine doesn't look official. <laughs> but... Yeah, so I got a capture card and, uh... 
I'm gonna be using it most- I'm gonna use it mostly instead of the camera. I'm only gonna use the camera for, like, my random videos and such. But rarely against the TV screen. Only if I, like, uh, can't be bothered. Uh, but, yes. And they will be captured on this, uh, PC. This is actually my PC tower. Uh, not the laptop. Uh, but yes, um, so I can finally use it, and I can have game footage, and I can even, because I'm on a tower, with, I don't know if I have a lot of them, I think I have more gigs of RAM. Uh, I can run them in 60 FPS as well, I think this video is in 60 FPS. It's running, I have to change the settings before. Okay, so after I do, like, so I'm not going to, like, play through each game and such. Uh, I'm just gonna simply, uh, play through, uh, the first round, so let's say, first round of Donkey Kong I finished. This is the second round, of course. I'm just gonna skip to another game. Uh, let's just see what the game is. Yeah, it can. So, yeah, there's the game over screen. And you can tell it's the uh, original edition because uh, 2010 at the bottom. Uh, this one was also released for the 3DS. And even in America as well. I don't know about Japan, though. But, yeah. So now I'm going to just go to the next game. Uh, and that is uh, Donkey Kong Jr., this one is the GameCube version. I think it's from Animal Crossing, actually. Uh, so... So, what about the games I'm gonna be playing... ...in the future? Well, that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting because, um... Because, uh, I am still busy trying to finish a few games and doing some, uh, like, packs for games. And some games I wish to play, I've not even played yet. Or I want to play. Like, uh, like, in 2020, uh, I've mostly been playing, uh, Mega Man, Mega Man X, uh, 1 for 8. Uh, on the Mega Man X Legacy Collection. And the funny thing about that is, I actually... Because I live in the UK, obviously, uh, if you look at my about section, I am from the UK. And I used to have a British accent, but I now use an American accent, because I prefer that. But, please don't question that in the comments, please, guys. But, the thing is, for Mega Man X Legacy Collection, I had to import the US version. Like, I know the game was released in Europe, but there's one thing, though. It was digital only in Europe. America actually got a physical release. Same thing with Japan as Rockman X at this reflection. Uh, oh so, I basically, obviously, the I have it on Xbox One, which is, the Xbox One itself is region 3, luckily. So I can play, oh, come on. So the Xbox One is region 3. Uh, luckily, so I can play games from anywhere I want. And uh, so Mega Man X, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, the Legacy Collection is playable on my uh, Xbox One, which is European. But yeah, so I had to, uh, I did the same thing with Mega Man Zero slash ZX Legacy Collection, the, the latest uh, Legacy Collection game. Uh, and also my favorite Mega Man series, actually. Uh, well, second to X, I like the X series more, sort of, but I also like the Zero series a lot as well. So I could be planning to let's play those games because I have only finished the games in Japanese. Uh, by changing it to Rockman X and uh, Zero, respectively, on the both collections. I even imported a uh, Mega Man Zero slash the X Legacy collection as well, but I've only finished uh, Rockman Zero 1 through 4. I've not played the CX games that much. I've not even finished them. I don't even have the achievements for them. Or trophies you call them on PS4, but still. Um. How am I supposed to do 
do this. Oh. But, um... Yeah, I was mostly, um, playing Mega Man X in 2020 during COVID-19 and such. Oh, come on. Um... But yeah, on my Xbox One, um... And it's really amazing since, uh... Oh, God, this is so cool. But yeah, um, Mega Man, um... Is obviously my favourite franchise, um... Uh, by Capcom, at least. Um... It's almost like the... Almost like, well, the X and Zero series are the best, uh, The classic series are also good. I'm planning to let's play those games as well. Most likely on Legacy Collection, which is also on my Xbox One, but unlike X and Zero Legacy Collection, I had to, because I did not know about importing back then, or I think I did, but I did not know America and Japan had physical copies, I just have it digital. Same thing with the, the sequel Legacy Collection 2. Uh, which, uh, the games in that one, the games in that one, well, they are good, but the versions are sort of bad for me, because I only say one thing. Uh, the title screens play first before, like, cutscenes that when you beat the game. And for Mega Man 8, at least, um, even when I play the Japanese version by selecting the Japanese language, because normal Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 actually doesn't have a language, uh, a Mega Man version option. Unlike the first and the other Legacy Collection games, it only changes the version when you change the language. So I had to change the whole language of the collection to Japanese. And even if I... Oh, come on, this is so hard. Um, even if I change the language to Mega Man, uh, from Mega Man 8 to Rockman 8, I still get the English uh, video opening. I get that the music and stuff were changed due to licensing issues, but... But the video still says Mega Man 8, even when I'm on Japanese. It's strange. However... However, if I actually change the uh, Xbox One language and the game language to both Japanese, I can actually get the Japanese songs and the proper video where it says Rockman 8. Which is... Oh god, this is so hard! I'll keep trying. But yes, um... Come on. Oh, I can fast forward. That's good. But, yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say now, but... But yeah, I was, uh... Yeah, I don't really like the second collection that much. Obviously, the games are good, it's just, uh, the fact that, unlike the original games and the other games in the collection, in the different collections where they played, like, the intro first, in normal Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, uh, it's the title screen first, and you have to wait on the title screen to get the intros for Mega Man 7, 8, and even 9 and 10. And luckily, Mega Man 9 and 10 does have the DLC. Uh, with button combinations, or I think when you finish the game, I don't know, but I use button combinations. Uh, I forgot what the button combinations were, but still. Oh, God. Are you serious? They, they can kill you as well? Right, I'm just going to concentrate more on this. Hold on, guys. very hard. You know what? I'm just gonna skip. I'm just struggling at that part for some reason. Uh, next game, we'll just go with, uh, Mario Bros. The original Mario Bros. arcade game. Not the super. Without the super part. And this title screen theme is amazing. Just listen. I'm planning on playing uh, Mega Man games uh, in the future. 
Because obviously it's my favourite series of all. Uh, hold on, let me do it like this. There we go! Uh, so yeah, I can play those. Uh, I am also... Because it's like June now, and it's uh, July soon, and when I get my capture card, I was thinking of playing it in a Nintendo Switch game. Uh, and now... Uh, you guys might be thinking, what Switch game are you going to play, uh, video game, or JN, or Poop, or whoever you call me? Um, well, I was thinking of, uh, a game that was on the GameCube, but ported to the Switch, in widescreen. You guys have probably guessed what it is. It's Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah, I think I could, I could, I might play Super Mario Sunshine, uh, since, uh, Obviously, it's summer. I have I have actually finished uh, the Japanese GameCube version on uh, on my GameCube. I have actually imported Japanese. Uh, here's a funny story. When I in I think it's 2019. Um, when I went to this place, I went to a place called uh, it's in Doncaster. It's a place called Doncaster Dome. Uh, you might some of you might not recognize it because you're American, but still. Uh, in Doncaster, there's a place called Doncaster Dome, and the place that's really interesting there is the Video Game Museum, and what they have there... Oh, I got a perfect. But the thing they have there, uh, it's really amazing. Uh, guys, if you're in the UK, or if you're going to a trip to the UK, I highly recommend visiting that place, because it's it's got a lot of games, and it's got a lot of imports as well, which I mostly get. I've actually got a lot of the uh, Super Famicom games from there, which is the Japanese Super Nintendo, of course. Uh, but I got a lot of them there. And, uh... But the funniest thing is, I saw a copy of Super Mario Sunshine in one uh, aisle, but when I but when I was going to look for other games, uh, as I was checking for other copies to be a different price because I'm trying to get the cheapest price as possible, it was gone, and I was sad, very sad because I really wanted uh, uh, the Japanese Super Mario Sunshine. I had the European one obviously, but I wanted the Japanese one because of some differences and such, minus the text of course. The te I don't really. Japanese text, I don't really count as changes. I only count, like, sprite details in games as changes, not the text. Even if it's, uh, different European languages. But anyways, so, I actually have a Japanese version now, but it's not from Doncaster Dome. It's from eBay. But guess what? This was during COVID-19, actually. I actually bought it from eBay, and it was from Japan. It was only, believe it or not, 99 UK pence. Yes, 99p, the game cost itself. I don't think it had any postage, and it was from Japan. And I did not get any, I did not get any import charges at all. I did not even get any, uh, any, uh, shipping. So, I don't know, I don't know if it's shipping or not, but... You guys tell me in the comments if shipping's that, but still. Um... I had no, I had no import charges on the game whatsoever. I was lucky, and it was from Japan, and it was only 99p. <laughs> it's strange, but still. And it's the only game I had to have this. So, so yeah. So yeah, I was, uh, cause I, yeah, I, so yeah, I thought of playing Super Mario Sunshine in the future. Uh, All Star, 3D All Stars version. Obviously, if you don't know what 3D All Stars is, it's a collection of uh, Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy 1, unfortunately, not Galaxy 2, unfortunately, in on the Nintendo Switch. And it even comes with a few music and a few changes. Uh, Mario 64, unfortunately, it is a, it is good on 3D All-Stars, but it's still 4x3, and it's not 60 FPS. Uh, so it's not 60 frames per second, unfortunately. So, meaning, 
It's, in fact, it's actually just the, if you extract the ROM from the Switch, it's, you still actually get the uh, original Japanese uh, Shindu edition of the game, which is the version with uh, the backwards long jump fix, you know, the infamous glitch, as well as Rumble Pack support, uh, which is cool for Rumble Pack support. So meaning, the 3D the All-Stars version also has the uh, backwards long jump uh, glitch fixed. And rumble support. And even that uh, title screen easter egg that you can have in the uh, Shindu edition as well. Um, so, which is a good thing. It's the first time the Shindu version was in English, officially. Like, I'm not saying the other versions of the game are terrible. Uh, the original Japanese version was also good, but slightly unfinished, only because uh, it had no voices for Mario and Peach, you know. So, you know, when Mario says, HELLO, on the title screen, uh, that doesn't happen in the original Japanese release. It has no voices at all. So, the Shindu edition is basically the international version. So, similar to other games that had uh, different versions, like uh, Sonic Adventure International or Final Fantasy VII International, where they're basically Japanese versions, they're basically English versions, but in Japanese. Uh, so, think of them as Japanese re releases. So, Mario 64 was similar, but with the Shindu version. In fact, Wave Race 64 also had that as well. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh wow, that was so interesting. Oh, I forgot what I was talking about. Now. Um, Uh, I might as well change another game now. But yeah, I was thinking of playing uh, Super Mario Sunshine uh, this uh, year. Maybe not this week, but still. On my Nintendo Switch, uh, next game I'll play. I'll play Balloon Fight next. Balloon Fight, again, is one of my European versions I chose. Just because I want to see if there was any changes in that version, or if you could spot any changes. I don't think there will be, but obviously these are being played in 60 years, so... Uh, let's not... Wait, what? <laughs> okay. So, I am... So, besides Mario Sunshine, I don't know what other games I can think of playing. Obviously, I have played Mario 64, I have done a Let's Play on it before, when I used to have the PAL version. I don't anymore, though. Unfortunately, because I actually created my own guidelines. I actually have them on the code actually, on my user page. Um. Oh come on. Um. So I have I I call them collecting guidelines, and I say that I must have most old games Japanese version as possible. However, with a few exceptions, like if the game is the, if the game has no changes and they're classed as like world versions, so so for example, Donkey Kong on NES and Famicom, despite being different cartridges, of course, and different format, uh, they are actually the same ROM uh, sometimes. Uh, maybe not, maybe not for some versions, but. But for most old games like, uh, like, uh, Super Mario Land on Game Boy, Super Mario Land 3, Mario Land, uh, Super Mario Land 2 is a separate one. I can just have any, any version of the cartridge. I don't need to, like, swap them. Same thing with, uh, Mario Land 3 on Game Boy Color, that is also a world ROM, so... Obviously, I have a Japanese cartridge because, uh, it was cheap. It was cheaper for me back then when I first saw it. But that is, but I have also got the American and European version on the cartridge as well because also, because again, it's a world ROM. Uh, so world ROMs don't have differences. They may have revisional, re they may have revision releases, so like 1.0, 1.1, but you don't really, you can't really tell which one you get, so. 
like, for Ocarina of Time, I've got Japanese as well on N64, I was actually lucky to get version 1.0, because it's actually the original release of the game, the version with um, Islamic chanting in the Black Temple, all that, as well as uh, Ganondorf, uh, Ganondorf's blood uh, being red instead of green. Uh, as well as a few glitches uh, that were patched in 1.1 and earlier. Although version 1.1 also has some stuff uncensored in Ocarina of Time. Uh, but 1.0 has more changes than that. Uh, a few glitches that were patched. And even um, the N64 logo is actually brighter as well. Believe it or not. Uh, but if I let's play Ocarina of Time in the future, it's obviously not going to be the N64 version, it's probably going to be one of my GameCube versions. I don't know if it'll be the Master Quest disc, or if it'll be the version in Collector's Edition. Uh, I don't know about playing the Remix, though. Uh, for remakes, I don't really know if I should really let's play them, because, uh, one, well, some of them are basically just the same as the original, just with, uh, additional features, like, Ocarina of Time 3D is actually just the original, but just in 3D, of course, and a few bug fixes there, but some glitches, believe it or not, are actually still in the 3DS version. Obviously, some glitches like Infinite Sword glitches were patched, or other glitches were actually still in the game. But some, uh, just have different methods, so like, bomb hovering, well not, no, not bomb hovering, that was the first uh, uh, but glitches like, um, uh, super slide, you have to perform differently in the 3DS version, you can still do it, but you, you have to do a different method, and they're a lot trickier as well. In fact, the 3DS version even has a forward version. So yeah, I'm not sure about playing remakes though. I might do, but but maybe not. Uh, as for ports on other consoles, that doesn't really matter because they're not remakes. So Sunshine on uh, 3D All Stars, for instance, is not a remake. It's just a port. It's actually just the uh, European GameCube version if you rip it from the uh, 3D All Stars. So if you load it up in Dolphin, for instance, it's just the European version just without the original cutscenes, since the 3D All-Stars version actually also plays the cutscenes in its own engine. So let's play Blue Shift now. And then if I fail on this with Game Over, then I'll just switch to But! <laughs> Immediate death! But, yes, um, I don't need to collect most blues, I just need to. But, yes, um, I was planning on playing Mario Sunshine. For Mario Galaxy, I might play 3D also as well. The only, the only reason I'm trying to say it like that is because of Galaxy 2. Obviously, it's not in All-Stars collection. Come on, Nintendo. But I'm not, I don't know if they're going to re-release Mario Galaxy 2. They, they might do, but we don't know. Uh, I'm probably going to guess no, though, because... Uh, obviously, Galaxy 2 was released, like, uh, three years after Galaxy 1, officially. I don't know. I'll switch here. Uh, next game I'll play... I'll play um, Excite Bike next. Uh, where is it? GameCube Edition. This is the US GameCube version of the game, this one, from Animal Crossing. I've noticed there's a design option, I think that's when you create your own maps, or courses I in. But obviously I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... Okay, so... Oh, okay. 
So, I don't know what other games I want to let's play besides Mega Man and the Mario 3 All-Stars. Um, I was thinking of the older Mario games, um, you know, original Mario Bros, Lost Levels, uh, Super Mario Bros USA, originally Donkey Kong Panic, and Super Mario Bros 3, and maybe Super Mario World. The only problem is what version I should let's play. Because I have an NES Mini, a modded NES Mini, so I can play uh, original Lost Levels on it. And my SNES Mini is modded so I can play a few other games. I was thinking of Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I was also planning on Let's Play and maybe Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Uh, obviously, I said that not really time, but but for other Zelda games, I've not really played the others yet. I've only finished Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, both N64, GameCube, and even the 3DS remake. Uh, so for other games, I was planning on New Super Mario Bros. on DS, New Super Mario Bros. 2, and New Super Mario Bros. U. Same thing with 3D Land and uh, 3D World. 3D so be you, respectively. Um, maybe the Mario Kart series as well. So Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart first, then uh, Mario Kart 64, Super Circuit, Double Dash, DS, Wii, and then 7, 8. And maybe Home Circuit, I don't know, because I'm only, only because Home Circuit you have to play, you have to have a set, which I don't have yet. But the big reason for that is you'll be able to see what my house looks like. And I don't know if I should show my house to all of you. Obviously, you might have seen my rooms before. Uh, and I say rooms because uh, I actually, my parents were actually separated in 2020. I won't discuss some more about that, though, but still. So I mean, and I have two houses and two bedrooms. So... For other games I could try and play, um, I, for games I've not let's played yet, but I'm planning to play, I was thinking of Yoshi's Island, the Super Nintendo one, because uh, I have a Japanese copy, and here's another story as well, this is also to do with Doncaster Dead. When I went to the Super Famicom section, oh wow, this is really awesome. so when I went to the Japanese section, the Super Famicom, <laughs> What was that for? Okay, um... Anyways... <laughs> oh my god! Am I just gonna suck at this or what? Oh, now I really suck. But I found a copy of Yoshi's Island for Super Famicom. Um... And when I went back home to try and boot it up on my Super Famicom... It didn't boot for any reason. I tried to... I blowed on it a part... I, I blowed on it a little bit. Uh, and uh, then I I literally... Um, uh, oh, God. So yeah, I literally blowed on it a few times to see if it'll work. Nothing happened. Until 2020, during COVID, I actually got myself some screwdrivers. Yes, I take apart consoles and cartridges. I am an expert at that. Um, but when I took it apart and then looked at the inside and then booted it up, the game booted up. But I was having issues though. For once, uh, the issue, uh, Beta64 actually had this issue as well. Uh, it's not just me. Uh, so basically, um, there was a save on there already. But, so, but, but immediately, when I was playing the game for a bit, deleted my save file and obviously even after I replaced the battery in the cartridge uh, uh, no. so after I replaced the battery even even after that I still I still get the error uh, the uh, delete game save error so later, on eBay, I've got a new copy of the Japanese version. Uh, along with uh, Mother 2, which is Earthbound. Uh, uh, well, Earth 
are found in the US, in Europe, and mother of Japan. But I've got that, along with Japanese Super Mario All-Stars, which is Super Mario Collection. But I also got a uh, Japanese Yoshi's Island again, and that one properly works. Even, um, even I don't have the delete save issue anymore. And I compared both cartridges together, and they did look different. So maybe the the, the corrupted one, I called my mold one corrupted one now. Maybe the PCB chips inside them were just like a bit messed up originally, and they weren't like. Um, what's the word? Reliable. So maybe, so maybe, maybe I got one of those early, maybe I got like an, a copy that, I don't know if it's like a pirated copy or such. Some people might say it's a pirated copy, but still. But, but I can confirm you, I looked on TCRF, the cutting room floor. I'll change the game now. Uh, I'll play Ice Climber next. For Ice Climber, I'm actually playing the Japanese version here because there's an enemy that was changed. I'll show you in a moment. I'll talk about what I'll talk about in a moment. <laughs> you could you could literally disable the music by doing that. Did not know that. But I can show you an enemy that was changed. There it is, actually. It's a seal! Yeah, if you don't know, the uh, US version actually changed it to a Yeti. Uh, so, obviously because of cruelty in real life. So that's why you're seeing the seal. But they do function correct. They do function uh, the same. But, uh, anyway, so, uh, what, what was I, uh... Oh, yeah, the Yoshi's Island copy, uh... So, yeah, I got the new copy now, so it works perfectly. It's still Japanese. It's actually the same revision as well that I had before, uh, version 1.0. Um... Uh, oh, come on. So, meaning, I've not changed the revision as well. And I actually did not... I actually did not know what revision I was gonna get, anyway, so... But, oh come on, but, for, um, oh come on, oh, so yeah, I got a new copy, but the PCB does look different than my corrupted one, so maybe the corrupted one has a chip that is not reliable, and maybe they fixed it on later cartridges. I think a similar issue has happened to Mega Man X, uh, or Rapid in Japan. Obviously, not my copy in particular, but I think some other people's copies in Japan. I think they had a similar issue. Um... But... It's strange, because, um... The version of Mega Man X I have is the Japanese version again, uh, Rockman X. On the cartridge as well. And it is actually version 1.0 where it has a glitch that was patched in every other release. So, yeah. So I don't have an issue. Though. So maybe it's the type of cartridge PCB again. Didn't make it. But yes, um... But yeah, I literally... It's interesting, um, let's stop about that now. But yeah, it, it, it is very interesting. Uh, a similar thing happened with my, uh, Super Donkey Kong, uh, Japanese copy, which is Donkey Kong Land. Uh, but I've actually made a video on that one. Uh, my old Japanese copy, again, was corrupted, but the, di the difference here is that, uh, Unlike my Yoshi's Island one, where it deletes the save, this time the game wouldn't actually boot. Well, it actually did it does boot, but, but what I mean is it actually doesn't uh, progress through the game, it actually just gets stuck on the, uh, on the random screen screens uh, for no reason. 
and it doesn't happen. It's not even anti-piracy as well. But I got a new Japanese copy with a with a torn off label. And it works perfectly. This time. had that issue. I might have had a disc problem with some of my disc-based games, so like the Wii and such. But no, I did not have the dual-layer disc problem for the Wii, so if people struggle to play Smash Brothers on their Wii, and they need to send their Wii to Nintendo, I did not have that issue at all. Uh, they, my Wii could, could, could actually play uh, Smash Bros and Metroid Prime Trilogy and Metroid of M and other dual-layer games. Uh, I've only got three double-layer games, though. I've only got uh, Smash Bros. Brawl, which is the, the first game to use it, and the famous one. Metroid Prime Trilogy, which, uh, which the Metroid Prime games were released in Japan, but, but separately on the Wii. Uh, not in a bundle like we got, and America got. That is a double-layer disc. And Metroid Other M is also a double-layer disc. Uh, they're the only games I have. I know the other games are Xenoblade Chronicles, and I think one of the... I think something Warrior 3, I don't know. Uh, but I don't know what it is, but... But only a small number of Wii games use dual-air discs. And I don't know if they're slightly yellow or gold in the back. If, if I'm wrong, then just let me know in the comments if you know about dual-air discs, of course. Um, as for my other consoles, like PlayStation 2, I don't have any dual-air games on it like God of War or Gran Turismo 4, but I do have a few uh, CD-based games, so Blue Disc game, I have Speed, uh, uh, I have the Simpsons Skateboarding, and all of, my, all of my Blue Disc CD games, the ones I have, I don't have the issue for playing those, because I have a fat PS2 model, which I use for playing games. Uh, most of my games are actually DVD format, uh, and some games I even burn myself, so... So, yeah, um, I, di I didn't have disc problems before. I might have four, like, burned copies, so I'm trying to do it, but besides that, not really. And, uh... So, yeah, so for other games I might let's play, um, I might start let's play in a PlayStation games as well. Um, minus the Mega Man games, obviously, since, um, most games were on PlayStation. Uh, most X games in the collection were PlayStation 1 and 2. Only three games were Super Nintendo. Ah, I'll load another game now. I'll load, uh, Wrecking Crew now. So, other games I'm trying to think of playing are, um, maybe, um, other games, uh, like I was thinking of, um, the Mega Man Zero games as well, obviously, because they're, they're like my favourite Mega Man games. Zero is my favourite character. But I don't know what difficulty mode, though. Uh, obviously not easy mode, because obviously it's just too easy. And uh, I want to try and get things difficult. Uh, but I was also planning on uh, playing a few rare games, so Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, Conker's Bad Third A. Uh, maybe Battletoads, I don't know. 
Maybe perfect dark, I'm not sure. Uh, killer instinct, blast corpse. Uh, maybe a few 360 only ones, like Cameo, Viva Pinata. I've not played those games that much yet. Uh, so. Um, I've mostly played, I've only finished Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, Conquer, and, uh, and also the Donkey Kong games that Rare made. But besides that, I've not really played any other Rare games. So, yeah, I could play those, uh, I could let, do a let's play of those. Seems done, but but yes, yeah, so I was also thinking of playing um, a few handheld games, a few Game Boy Advance games. So Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga, maybe a few DS games as well, like Planet in Time. Uh, maybe Mario 64 DS. Like I know it's a remake, but but the difference between that one is that it's actually. Uh, Almost a different game. Obviously, it's not completely different, uh, but it is like almost a different game. But yeah, different levels, and such. Oh, you have to destroy the ladders as well. Okay. games, maybe, obviously Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, 1, 2, and 3 and Knuckles, uh, for, um, other games though, for other Sonic games, I've, Sonic CD, and I've only finished, like, only games in mostly the collection, so I, I, I have, um, <laughs> but yeah, I've mostly played uh, games in the Mega Collection and Gems Collection, so the Trilogy, CD, and even Sonic the Fighters, even the word the terrible Sonic R, which most people hate. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I was thinking of playing those. And, um... For other Sega games, um, I've not played a lot. But for the, um... Uh, but for the other games in general, uh, the RPGs, when I get to play them in the future, maybe Fantasy Star, uh, Beyond Oasis, also known as Story of War in, uh, Europe and Japan. Um... But I was thinking of playing those when I finished them. Uh, uh, same thing with Sonic Adventure when I finish that someday. I'll try and finish the Japanese Dreamcast version. And then, like, let's play, let's say, the GameCube version. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. Alright, let's choose another game. Let's go with uh, Urban Champion this time. I think this is a, yeah, this is a fighting game, uh, a classic Nintendo one. So, oh yeah, I forgot, also, I forgot I can use also fire or like keyboard, but yes, um, I actually, uh, I don't know what game I should let's play. I could do Mario Sunshine. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments uh, what game I could play uh, in the future. Uh, so, uh, 
Popo, so let's keep fighting instead. Okay, so, um, yeah, um, OBS is telling me, uh, encoding overload, consider turning your volume settings or use a faster encoder. Nah, I don't care. But still, um, um, I don't know about PC games as well, because, um, I don't really have any besides a few Five Nights at Freddy's my friend gave me. And same thing with the fan games, Five Nights at Candy's, uh, Jollibee's, or Jolly. And I think Five Nights at Charles as well. And he even gave me a few EXC games, so Dodge XC games. Uh, But, um, for arcade games, um, I don't know if I should let's play them, uh, so, uh, Neo Geo Classics, uh, so, like, King of Fighters, Fatal Fury, uh, Samurai Showdown, Art of Fighting, all that, and even Metal Slug and that. I don't know if I could play, if, if I would play those, since, uh, and obviously I would have to use, like, console mode mostly, since I'm at home and I'm not in an arcade studio. Uh, and I'm not even stealing arcade cabinets, which is obviously, um, still. And the arcade games I'm a player are obviously gonna be played on my retro pie. Let's see if I can win this. Um, oh my god, am I actually gonna win this? Yes, I am! <laughs> and then I got knocked out at the same time. some Super Nintendo games, maybe some more GameCube games, maybe Metroid Prime most likely, because I have finished the American version of that game, the original one, and uh, for other games, maybe Luigi's Mansion on like October and such, since uh, obviously October is Halloween and everyone should know that by now, uh, but yeah, I could play Luigi's Mansion, the first one on GameCube. Because uh, I don't have the 3DS remake, unfortunately. I wish I did, but... But... I don't know if I would want to... Like, it is, it is very tricky for me. I don't really know what games I want to play, but... Yeah. Oh god. Oh, oh my god, first try on the second um phases. Wow. Yeah, okay, let's change game. Sorry, Urban Champion. Um What game should I play next? Uh how about Devil World? Um, some Americans might not recognize this, but this is a Japan and Europe exclusive uh, on the NES and Famicom. This is Devil World. Uh, I've not played a lot of this, but yeah. Oops. But you're basically playing as this uh, this demon. Basically collecting uh, Christian crosses. And I think you take them here. Okay. Oh 
Oh, so the Christian cross doesn't allow me to play fire, okay. But yeah, so... Um, uh, maybe I might play a few PlayStation games. Um, I've not played a lot, I've only played most of them. But yeah. I could try Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon in the future. And even the other newer games like uh, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet Clank, and Sly Cooper. All of those good games. Uh, I could try playing them in the future. If I do a let's play on each. Uh, but yeah. But yeah. It is going to be interested on what. Ugh, I have no idea what I was doing. Oh, do I have to collect those dots? Oh, okay. It's like Pac Man a bit, but. Exactly. RPGs. I've not played a lot of RPGs though, I've only played uh, Mario Luigi games, Superstar Saga Fighters in Time, and Bowser's Inside Story. Uh, I do need to play Dream Team, Dream Team, uh, or Dream Team Brothers in Europe, and also uh, Paper Jam, or Paper Jam Bros in Europe. Let's play Pinball next. Um, yeah, and uh, and I need to play a few more 3DS games. I need to play, uh, Hey Pikmin. <laughs> play a game over? Is that supposed to be there? Or is it a weird glitch? Let me reset the game. It's still there. Let me reboot like this. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Reboot. I still get the play again. Is it supposed to be there or is it the emulator? I don't know. I uh, 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 I don't know. But okay then, uh, let's try this game. Okay, so uh, basic game of pinball. Okay, so. So, um, for, um, I don't know what I'm going to say now. But I was also thinking of playing a few Kirby games. So, like, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 1, 2, and 3. Maybe Kirby's Dream Land 1 might be a one-episode video, though, because of the, uh... Well, I'll see, anyway. Um... Uh, because obviously it's a short game, but the other games are big, so... But I'll see. I might do Kirby's Dream Land uh, next, actually. I don't know. I I I'll decide on that, though. Uh, but... But consider it, um... Uh, consider your vote, uh, just put in the comments, uh, would you want me to play, um, Kirby's Dream Land next, or Super Mario Sunshine, when I get a capture card, obviously, I'm not gonna, I can't let's play Mario Sunshine now until I get the capture card, because it's not arrived yet, as it's coming in the post, and if I tested it out, of course, and, uh, obviously I might be late because, obviously, uh, my life and such. Oh. oh, come on, are you serious, ball? Get up there, you naughty boy. But yeah, I was thinking of playing Kirby games, like Kirby's Adventure and such. Um, 
Obviously, uh, Pikmin 3 may be in the future. Obviously, Pikmin 3 Deluxe. The Deluxe version on uh, Switch. Since I finished the Wii U version. With some glitches, because some glitches are actually broken in the game. Believe it or not. Um... Uh, Four bad games, so games that not everyone likes. Uh, like Sonic 06, for instance. Um, I might play them. Uh, maybe I might let's play them. Even though they're really terrible games and they're not going to obviously get a lot of views, but still. Uh, but I get that. Uh, it is the terrible game. What the? <laughs> oh my god! Glitchy before title screen again! And I still get game over. I don't know if it's meant to be like that. Uh, anyways, uh, let's play soccer next. played a lot of soccer games, so this is my first time playing it. So, I'll try my best at it, because I don't actually play soccer or football myself, but... So I'll try my best at it. Oh yeah, um, uh, you have to kick it in the other team, uh, not in our own team. <laughs> oh yeah, so you usually, uh, okay, yeah. Oh! Well yeah, um, I'm still thinking about it, so, uh, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I keep forgetting it changes. Oh yeah, I think I've, I have played a bit of uh, Mega Man Soccer or Rocket Man Soccer on Super Nintendo. Uh, it is one of the bad Mega Man games, it is, so... Yeah, it's not the best Mega Man game. There are some Mega Man games that are terrible. Uh, most notably, the, some Legends games. M a lot of people like the Legends games. Like, I've not played them myself a lot yet. Mega Man X7, of course, though, most people don't like that. But I actually enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed playing it. And, uh, even X6, which is the hardest game in the Mega Man X series, I actually still find it easy. Okay, I give up playing soccer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me just sort out my uh, window here. The game's not crashed, by the way. It's just the emulator. Okay. Uh, I, I think I have two more games. Uh, oh, no, three more, actually. No, four more, actually. Um, oh, no, five more. Oh, my God. Um, this has been one hour. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's do tennis next. Oh, wait, no, I've got a few more. Singles game. We'll do singles game. Oh, yeah, and I was also thinking of playing some uh, Nintendo-based sports games as well. Oh, double fault. Oh, God. It, it is hard to control on NES. Oh, there we go. In. Have I got po Is it me that's got points, or is it the... Oh, come on! Mario, don't say fault. I'm not faulty. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh, this is... It's so hard. 
like, tennis itself isn't hard, it's just the NES game itself. Because I don't know where the ball's gonna go, sometimes. Like, uh, well, there is a game that controls worse than this. Uh, it's actually a uh, Smash Ping Pong, Smash Ping Pong on Famicom Disk System. A Japan-only game that was released in Europe on Virtual Console. Uh, as Smash Table Tennis. But that controls terribly. It's almost like worst controls ever. I give up of this. Oh, wait. Ah, I give up. Whoa! No white screen, please. Not everyone likes it. Okay? So, uh... What other games have I got? Um... play Donkey Kong 3 next. Which is not that famous than the other Donkey Kong games, but still. But okay. I don't even know if that's supposed to Okay, what I'll do then, I'll use the auto fire. Okay, so yeah. Oh, so that's how the game plays. Okay. But yeah, my other games I was thinking of playing were a few Game Boy games, uh, original Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, uh, Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages, and Seasons. Uh, and, uh, and what other games? Uh, Now, here is the game that sold poorly, this NES game, Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Yep. Okay, this, this video is also school. So, um... So... Something plus... Uh, I, now, I don't know how this game plays, but... Like, I know my math, obviously, but... Four, let's say four times, times, two, is eight, yes, I get that, divided by, one, now I don't really know how this game plays, but still, Yeah, I don't know how this plays. <laughs> okay, uh... Last NES game. The the last three, the other three are just gonna be Famicom Disk System exclusive games. Oh wait, no, two more NES games, sorry. First is Golf, and then the other is Ice Hockey. So here's Golf. I think this is actually one of the games that was hidden in the Nintendo Switch. When you set the date to uh, July 11th, um, uh, oh, what button is it? Is it the B button? What button is it? What, what button is it? I don't know what button it is. Oh. Okay. Ugh, oh, this is so... So hard to control. 
I can't even control it. I can't even con Oh, come on. <laughs> this is so hard to control. Oh my god. I can't even- Oh, come on. This is so hard. Hit the ball, god damn it! Hit the ball. Good. Hit the ball. Hit the ball. Hit the ball. Hit it now. Get the golf ball. God damn now. Oh my god. Get. God damn it. Come on. Are you. Is this rig? Oh, come on. I suck at this. Like, even if I time it right, I still can't get it. Oh! Hit it! Hit it for crying out loud. Hit the ball now. Can you please hit the ball? Everyone else is good at this game. So why not me? Hit that damn ball now. Oh, come on. Hit it. Like, I could do it like this, but far away is hard. Unless it's the type of golf I'm using. Like, even if I change the golf, it's still not going to do it. <laughs> it's so hard. You know, I give up at this. Alright, ice hockey. Um, is it supposed to be like this? Japan exclusive Famicom Disk System games that are also, I guess, classed as arcade games. So, this one here, these are all golf games, by the way. Not the same golf, though. Obviously, Famicom Disk System Starb. So, this one is Golf Japan Course. Uh, so, uh, Golf Japan Course, uh, obviously, it's a Japan exclusive. Yeah, there you go. when you select the menu, you go like this. Like, let me turn the microphone off so you don't hear the keyboards so that you can hear this.
had an issue with a screen. I don't know if it's in the right position, but still. If it's not, then let me know in the comments, okay? We'll select the top option. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, then. Press... Oh, are you... I have to change... Oh, this is a change disk side. Oh, boy. Uh, here we go. Emulator settings, where is it? This system. Insert site B. Will this work or do I have to? Okay, um, it's doing it. Okay, it's done it. Oh, it's exactly like golf, but as Mario instead, and slightly different. And and I failed again. Oh! Oh, come on! Hit the goal! Hit the goddamn ball, Mario! Just because you're a fat uh, Italian plumber does not mean you could suck at golf on a Famicom disc system. And in Japan, so do the goddamn ball now. Hit it! You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Auto fire. Many times. Park Japan. Hey, hey there. Like, it's hard to... Like, I can't even... Do... Okay, I'll try a different golf game. So this next one is Golf US Course. Uh, this is also a Famicom Disk System game exclusive to Japan. A uh, Golf US course, and you can actually get a gold punch out cartridge if you got like a perfect score in this game. Back then. So, yeah, there's a Golf US course. Oh, here we go with the sound effects again. This is something you'll see if you're playing a Famicom Disk System game, though. Uh... Okay, shoot, boots up now. Change side B. Please wait! This is not a CD or a DVD. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, this is much improved than before. Let's hope this controls better. Uh, apparently no. Uh, apparently no. It still has hard controls. Wait! What? I don't know if it's actually going further. I don't even know. Yeah, these are hard to control. But let's try one more game. This is another golf game, by the way. Uh, this one's called Golf Special Course. Um, now, it's it says a prize card, but... But I don't really know 
if this is actually the same as US course, but just uh, improved slightly, or just designed for like, special advanced people. As you can see it says, Gold Price Card. again and again hopefully we don't die of boredom of this oh boy please wait uh, I'm impatient <laughs> okay yeah I think it's exactly the same as US course just slightly improved and it might be different I don't know if it is Yeah, like, I don't really know. It, I don't know if it's the same or not. I think it is. Yeah, it does look like it's the same. Am I in the tree? Well, I'm near the trees. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Oh. Okay, then. I bet the game is easy for most people, I just can't really do the controls that well. I can't even hit the ball! Like, have any of you guys had this issue as well? I don't know. Come on, hit it! <laughs> hit the ball! Hit the goddamn ball! Damn you! HIT THE BALL, MARIO! Plus, are you even Mario? Well, you have to be, because you're on the packaging of the game. Of both US- on the US course and Japan course. I don't even know if Special Course actually had a box art. I don't really know a lot about Special Course, but still. Oh well, I- I give up at this game, but... That should be it for today, guys. Um... I think that's all the games I played, so if you like this video and and want to know what I want to play in the what you want me to guide what you want me guys to play in the future, uh, just leave a comment down below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel um, uh, to have more videos and updates, and um, I shall see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.